Greetings for another video. Apologies because the lens is steamed up a little bit. And um, yeah, so if you can't see my face, no problem. Uh, so this morning I'm going to be doing an effort up. I don't know if you recognise this climb from my channel. If not, then I don't know. You probably not watch many of my videos because I harp on about this bloody climb so much. It's called Duff Stones. It is Saddleworth Greenfield. And I'm obsessed with it. It's the climb that I've always done. It's the climb that I've come back year after year after year. Like, just to kind of gauge where my fitness is at. I've not done an effort up it for two whole years. And I think because I've not done one for so long, it's a bit more precious. So I'm a bit like, oh, doesn't mean anything though. It's fine. But I'm just a bit like, oh, I'm going to give it a bash. A little smash rest up it just to see how I'm getting on. And uh weird thing is though, I've got back on my road bike after riding my mountain bike. The bars, I have 38 centimetre bars on mine. It feels so little now. Like I've just been so used to being on the mountain bike and um, having really wide bars, and like I just feel like I was like, "What is this?" It felt so weird. So I'm gonna do a little bit of warm up just get just to refamiliarise myself with my road bike and uh, do a little bit of a smash fest up it. So I reckon let's give it a bash. Right, I've just given my car a bit of a clean and now I'm going to check the old Strava. Also as well, uh, at the top of the, the, the last section of the climb is actually flat um, and I couldn't get in the big ring so I'm like Aah! Also what I would say, the best motivation ever is having Strava live segments. Uploaded. And I should add as well, like I know this climb, it, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't really mean, but for me it's like the only climb that I've ever, ever, am I even recording? It's the only climb that I've ever really been bothered about a time. I think it's because it's the one that I've always come back to to kind of gauge like how fit I am and I don't know, even getting in the top 10 is like I never, I always wanted to be able to do it, but I never thought bloody kind of thing I just kind of pushed myself I just wanted to push so hard and like get fitter so yeah let's have a quick look I can see trophies well no my time was better than last time anyway <laughs> what okay I got top 10 finish oh I came second I'm two seconds off oh my god that bloody chain thing two seconds Two seconds off the QOM. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm actually. I'm really happy. Like what? Like I'm happy that I got it, but then like two seconds. If I just got, been able to like, ah, oh, that's. You know what that means. I'm gonna have to be coming back. I'm gonna have to come back and do it again. Honestly, this is the. Oh, this is the. I don't really care about times or like segments not not really like i like them personally for me but it's not about like it's not it's not necessarily about riding faster than the other person it's for like for me seeing me progress and it's like all that time and all that like hard work that i've put in like training and just like i don't know i'm just really proud and i, I hope this help motivates you because i never thought that i would get anywhere near that i always wanted to and it's the only one that I ever really want to get the qom on um i'll be back i'll be back baby Oh, two bloody seconds. I really want the QOM. I really want it. So here we've got the ride and then here we have got the segment. So we'll just go over some of the stats. So my overall time was 1926. And I think my time before that was like 2102. So I took like a good minute and a half off. And yeah, let's go over my stats. So it's cadence 97. My heart rate was 178 average and my power average was 277 with a max of 434. And then now let's go over to the women's leaderboard. And yeah, I got second. And I can't even believe I'm even two seconds off the QOM. But when I've had done a little bit more Strava stalking, I realized that the other women in the top five are all pro riders. And I'm not for saying for one second that they were like giving it an effort. I'm sure they weren't. I'm sure they were probably like eating a sandwich up there to get the time that they did. However, like they are still pros. And Lizzie Banks, who's got the QOM now, won um, a stage of the Giro this year. And again, she was probably just having a little steady ride up there. But I still want to push and want to get the QOM, even if it's just for one day. So if you've got any tips that I can do to try and save two seconds on this climb, then let me know. And I will see you next video. You'll see another video of me getting the QOM. I'm going to get that this year.
That means I will have Everested on it, Local Legend on it, and QOM on it. <sighs> right, I'll see you soon.